Italy and beyond. Say no to criminals in European Parliament. By a Gravoxfin. Andre D'Ambra, the same man who launched a petition in Italy to abolish mobile phone top that charges, has now launched a campaign across Europe to say that's enough. To mix with criminal records or fines for illegal activity. This is our widespread Italian problem which is now being exported across Europe. Image, copyright Andre D'Ambra. As far as the Italians are concerned, those who should be leaving are Vito Bonsignor and Aldo Patricilla, European People's Party, EPP, Mario Borghezio, Union for Europe of Nations, UEM, and Gianni Di Michelis, Party of European Socialists, PES. All have been sentenced in court for serious criminal offenses relating to corruption charges, discrimination and illegal financial practices. Italy, a European problem. It's not just an Italian concept. Even people abroad understand that those asked to leave their own political parties will simply brawl AI. That was the case, for example, with English MEP Ashley Moat, who was found guilty of benefit fraud. The differences in how the accused are treated in Italy and how they are treated in other countries can be seen in the behavior of the UK's Independence Party, UKIP. As soon as Moat was found guilty in August 2007, he was expelled from the party. Consequently he changed political allegiance to no longer belong to a specific political party. Another example is the French politician Liam Jean-Marie Le Pen. Founder and leader of the extreme right-wing National Front who gathered together a string of criminal al politicians to try and incite racial hatred together. Andrew Duff, image. Copyright Lawrence Boyce slash Wikimedia, today anyone sentenced by the European Act concerning the election of representatives of the European Parliament by direct universal suffrage, annexed to Council Decision 7, 6, 7, 8, 7, X, DEC, your item of September 20, 1976 has to be expelled by his party and returned to his native country. In Italy a sentenced MP cannot even be a caretaker in a school. However, no law exists which forbids those who've been found guilty of criminal offences from being elected to Parliament. There is however a law of popular initiative signed by more than 350,000 people in the Senate still waiting for Parliament to FTIMEE time to approve it. Last autumn the European Parliament's Constitutional Affairs Committee undertook a modification of the Act which governs European elections. The speaker for this Act is the English MEP Andrew Duff. It speaks of a minimum and maximum term length for those elected, but doesn't refer at all to the ineligibility of those candidates with convictions. To this day not one Italian MEP has expressed support for this act. The four Italians who helped to make up the Constitutional Affairs Committee, Liam, Monica Frazoni, Green slash European Free Alliance, Riado Ventel, EPP, Luis Magantini, nor the Green Left Society, who is always on her Liam, best behavior. In Parliament, and more Zaini, PES, even didn't answer after they were indicated as friends to be consulted, by Hans Gert Pottering, the German President of the European Parliament. Neither were any of the 78 Italians elected to Parliament. Fortunately positive signals have finally appeared from maps of other nations. The President of the Constitutional Affairs Committee, the German Liam, Joe Lennon and the English Richard Corbett, PES, and two MEPs from the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats for Europe, Elder, Andrew Duff and the German Alexander Alvara. Therefore Mr. Danbra has decided to launch a petition on his block to demand the modification of the above Act, which gives the European Parliament the authority to impose its influence on the elections and to explain the ineligibility of candidates with criminal records, passed in courts, in a way which is uniform across the whole of Europe and which bans criminals from Parliament. Read the authors, Italian, Liam, Block. This story was brought to you by Agravox. Thank you for your visit.